What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we talk about hackers because yes, I mean we're not gonna lie to ourselves, right? There has to be some hackers in the game, although we don't want hackers, we don't want cheaters, there is still gonna be hackers. And yes, the idea is to report them and just hope and cross our fingers that they will be caught or they will be banned by the developers right now why i talk about that today because earlier a few hours ago garena call of duty mobile on their official facebook they posted something about the hackers and they said please we need to share this post it has to be shared and uh i decided to share it my own way and post a video about it but a previous post they wanted the players to say what would you say to hackers so they made a picture with all the words and you see a lot of noob uh, no skill, annoying, liars, cheaters. Uh, this is sad, exactly that. It's really sad. It ruins the game. It is not fair. You see the word ban also, which is pretty, pretty big. Uh, but yeah, like that's how players seem to feel about hackers. It's sad. It ruins the game for everyone. So the idea was just share the post and show it to hackers or people who cheat or help people cheating. But that's cool, okay? Spread the word, share the post on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. But what else you gonna do? Because seriously, it's nice to spread the word, but something else has to be done, right? And the way I see it right now, I feel that they don't do more than a cool post and spread the word. The reason I say that, guys, is because the leaderboard is still contaminated with what must be a hacker. One of my fellow YouTubers, Mr. Clasher, did post a video earlier uh, about the leaderboard. Now, just saying this is the ranked leaderboard. So this guy's got the top three spots on ranked and C1 YouTube, 34 kills per game. Then YouTube and C1, 33 kills per game. And then and C1 underscore YouTube, 30 kills per game. So my first idea was, oh, maybe you just create new accounts and just play one game. And then if you get 30 kills, he's going to have the leaderboard. But no, because you see these accounts, it's like Veteran 5. Uh, I think it's Pro 1 or Elite 1. And then, I don't know, is it Master 4 or something? I mean, I don't know all the, the icons. You guys uh, let me know in the comments. But still, it means this guy had played many games and got 34 kills per game. And now I just remembered because this name I've seen before. So I went back to Reddit and searched. So I went back to the COD Mobile uh, subreddit and then I did a quick search and see one and I just saw these two posts reporting a hacker please uh, get him banned ASAP and that was over a month ago that was uh, during the soft launch and then the other post uh, human hacking piece of trash and see one they got videos both posts uh, videos with evidence is crystal clear this is hacking and it's been reported like a long time ago this got 100 upvotes and 30 comments plus so people are aware it's been talked about already now of course you can't always give the guy the doubt maybe it was a bug maybe he got in a lobby and had a, a, a bug right maybe maybe once but not all the time and you cannot maintain an average of 34 kills per game on ranked now, of course, I don't really like giving the guys any exposure at all. But out of curiosity, I did go on YouTube and search NC1 just to see what's up there. And he only has like less than a thousand subs. But check the videos. Call of Duty Mobile Hack. Fortnite Mobile Hack Test 3. Test 2. Test 1. Asphalt 9 Rocket Cheat. And then PUBG Mobile Mod Menu. So it's pretty obvious that this guy who's trying to promote his YouTube channel on our leaderboards. He's just cheating and hacking on a bunch of mobile games. Now the whole idea of having the name up there on the leaderboard is trying to get self-promotion, uh, having your name out there and maybe people will go and check your YouTube channel. Now the kids, there's thousands of kids getting uh, on that channel looking for hacks. Now some kids, they want to win no matter how they're going to do it and they don't feel bad for cheating. They just want to win, right? They want to feel powerful. They want to feel strong and that's the way they do it. But I have a problem with our leaderboard having this guy promoting cheats on mobile gaming. Now Call of Duty Mobile, they have to do something about it. They have to remove that from the leaderboards. 
I mean, you guys need to spread the word. It's been reported already. I mean, maybe they don't have proof, but seriously, I show you guys the gameplay. It really is obvious that it is a hack. Infinite ammo shooting through the walls across the map. Um, this is ridiculous, ridiculous. And I cannot believe the guys having any fun at all playing like that. I wouldn't enjoy it at all. I mean, I can understand trying it for fun once and then like, and then that's it. Like, what's the point? There's no point to me at least. But yeah, it ruins the game for everyone else. Some guys put money in this game. Some guys really enjoy the game. I'm just checking the other leaderboard, but seriously, 28.6, 23.79. He's got two of the top three on the KDR. I mean, the other guy with 24, it's pretty high, but hey, some guys are really good at this game. Also, he's low rank, so it is possible. But seriously, having three accounts, with crazy KDR, crazy kills per match. It is pretty shady and usually when you see something like that, you have to at least investigate. And if you see something wrong, remove it. Don't leave it there, come on guys. So anyways, that's it for me. I mean, you know what I think about hacks and cheats. Uh, even emulators I'm against, I know they, um, they wanna do separate lobbies, but if you read the comments on that Facebook post, it seems like everyone says in the comments, remove emulators, ban emulators, they don't really, talk the same language maybe but if they separate emulator players and mobile players at least it's a good thing they did post already they said they wanted to have separate lobbies but hacking and cheating is another thing guys and i'm doing the best i can do spreading the word and talking about it i guess spread awareness so let me know in the comments guys have you ever faced a hacker or do you think you faced a hacker already in cod mobile because so far i didn't I don't think I got beat by hackers, but although it's possible that maybe I didn't notice, but what we've seen today is so obvious that I would definitely have noticed. If it happened to me, I would be so frustrated. So I cannot wait to read your comments. I will leave you guys with more gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like if you enjoyed. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. We lost the lead. down!
hostile sentry gun in your AO. 